Hi there, today's video is an experiment I did with the Asian jumping worms. I have them in this bin here. They've been in here uh, most of the winter. I don't know when I brought them up, December or such. And on this side, the right side, I put shredded leaves on top. And on this side, I just left it barren. Alright, and I kept it moist. And I wanted to see if I could draw the worms from the left to the right. Now one thing I did learn about these little guys over the winter is they're very sensitive to movement. Any disturbance and they true to their name, they get jumpy and they move all over the place. So I'm going to very carefully remove this side here. Just fold it over and see how many worms are on this side of the bin. There's one. There's another one. But I did just move this from. There's another one. Two, three. Another one. Now let's see. Three. Three or four. Two. Three. All right, three or four. Now let's see what's on the other side where the leaves are at. There's one here already. The top. Yeah, there's a lot in this. Yeah, most of them are on this side of the. Yeah, this side of the bin. Yeah, there. Yeah, there's quite a few on this side. More than on the other side. Obvious, I mean. And some of these have gotten more food than the others. <laughs> quite a bit larger. But yeah, I mean, this is a, a strategy I'm going to use out in the garden this year for these guys. I already started doing it. I put the, uh, you know, the more active ones are scooting all over. And they don't like getting disturbed. Found that out. The other thing I found out too with these guys is that they could care less about prepared food like what I feed the red wigglers and that. I made them up a nice little buffet of uh, pulverized uh, uh, blended materials, uh, vegetables and that, and they, they could care less. They didn't go anywhere near it. But they are uh, they're still in here, and most of them were on this side with the leaves. Because there wasn't any food on this side. Well, there were some, I'm sure, but uh, most of them were where the leaves were. And I tried to move these down in the basement to do this, but when I did that, they all were all over the place. So, anyhow, but how I'm going to use this in the garden is the inside perimeter of the infested bed. What I'm going to do, if I already started, I'm going to put a trough of uh, shredded leaves. And through the season, I'll just investigate into those shredded leaves to uh, just remove the, the worms physically uh, through the summer. And uh, I went an extra mile and I sifted out most of the... Uh, material not broken down in that bed but yeah these guys are uh, they're darling uh, just wish I would never showed up in my garden but it is what it is you know so 
yeah this is just my little experiment and it does work to a degree and uh, we'll see this summer how it works but uh, it's something anyhow it, it's without and there's no chemicals uh, any chemical that's going to disturb a, a jumping worm is going to disturb your other good worms too so uh, and there you have it so I hope everybody's well and uh, have a good day bye now